Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and loveyourselfsuccessful.com, my book. And uh, a, couple, a week or so ago, I was at a conference here in Sacramento called One Life Fully Lived. Highly recommend it. I just wanted to give some, uh, do a couple videos on a recap of some of the speakers that I heard there and, and the messages that spoke to me and sharing them with you not only reinforces what I need to do by teaching you, right, but it also shares the message uh, because I think it's a really good message. So one of the speakers I heard there was Rock Thomas. Never heard of this guy to save my life. Apparently he's some big real estate guy. He's been through all kinds of trials and tribulations. Um, got alpa alpecia, I think, where you lose all your hair and your whole entire body, and uh, went through some, you know, stuff. But he was a really powerful speaker and was really had tons of energy. Let me just tell you, he talks about successful people having a lot of energy, and so he's a real action-oriented guy. And uh, I, I, it's so true, though. If you see anybody who's really super successful, they have lots and lots of energy. They're like running here, they're doing this. And they're not like beating themselves up tired, right? They're not overworking themselves and undersleeping. They're actually doing the right things to their body, like exercise and meditation and, and taking care of their bodies as well as their business or their family or their relationships. So it's one of the underlying messages he was talking about, but he specifically was talking about how to never fail again and what are the four things that you want to make sure you do in your business or your life to make sure that you stay on track with your goals and hit your goals and things like that. And so one of the things that the first thing he was talking about was getting a mentor. And I talk about this too. I've had mentors. I still have mentors. I'm looking for some new mentors all the time, you know, and the different things. I just hired a new mentor in my nutrition area. So, I mean, mentors are a key to us getting anywhere in life, whether it's personally, uh, spiritually, physically, in our relationships, in our business, etc. So don't underestimate the power of a mentor. And you can, you just, a lot of people will say, well, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. And you got to stop saying that. Because you sometimes you don't even know how much it is or what you can get by trying and asking and checking it out, right? Don't just sit back and just assume you can't afford it. So one thing he was saying about a mentor, there's three things that mentors give you. They give you confidence to, so that you can go out and do more, be more, make more money maybe in your business, etc. They give you more confidence because they believe in you and they push you and they see your future, right? Uh, mentors give you constant correction. This is something I was looking for the words for this for a long time because I, I don't just do accountability with my clients. It's constant correction, right, which is very a very interesting thought. Think about if you're doing something in your business that you've never done, and you're developing a new whatever it is, a document, right? Um, like I'm doing a sponsorship proposal right now. I've never done a sponsorship proposal in my entire life. So I hired a mentor to show me how to do it. She had templates and she walked me through and she tells me yes or no on the things that I'm adding to the template. I mean, it's so much simpler than trying to figure out it myself or go online and, and get 462 different ideas of what a sponsor template should look like. That's ridiculous. You don't want to do that. Right? I mean, that's uh, possible, but you're not going to get the right one that works for what you're trying to accomplish necessarily without a little guidance. So we give you constant cor correction in whatever it is you're creating, doing, or whatever goals you're trying to achieve. And the third thing is contacts. Your mentor gives you contacts. Usually when you have a mentor, you can tap into who they know. You know, I can tap into any one of my mentors and they will connect me with other people they know that are bigger and badder than them, right? Or their friends that could potentially, I could do joint ventures with, etc. You sometimes can get promoted. Like a lot of my clients I've promoted in my email newsletters to my list um, or on social media or on my blog or on a call with the Love and Money Club that I have, right? So you get um, connections, you get um, connected to their, you can tap into their contacts basically. So one one reason to think of, or those are three reasons, really, really, really good reasons to think about getting a mentor. The second thing is to find your peer group. The second thing Rock Thomas was talking about was to find your peer group. And this means um, like 
what are who are the people like you're the sum of the five people that you surround yourself with right like Jim Rohn was saying but you you got to look at that you know he did a little exercise where you think okay what who are those five people and how much do you think they are ma making and what is the sum divided by five and that's probably where you're at right that's probably where you're at so if you're hanging out with somebody that's unemployed and somebody else who, you know, is a stay-at-home mom, which is a great thing, but she's not making an income, right? And or if you're, you know, hanging out with somebody who's just starting a business making 20000 I mean, where do you think you are, right? We need to surround ourselves with people who are up another level than us. And so always be on the lookout for people that you can stri uh, strive to put into your sphere group, your peer group. And sometimes it, all it takes is asking, asking a question if you can hang out with them or be mentored by them or um, go to something that they do or volunteer at their events, you know, volunteer at people's events who are more in alignment of where you want to be in your, in your life. So that's one idea. The third thing he talks about is um, say yes and figure out how later. And I've said this a million times, and a whole bunch of other people say this too. Say yes and figure out how later, right? And it's true. If you, you let's see, you do what you fear and it will disappear. You do what you fear and it will disappear, right? And it's true. It, whenever you feel in your gut like you shouldn't do something, a lot of us just kind of back away and don't do it. But instead, step into it. Step into it and say yes. And then the, usually the how will show itself or you'll figure it out, right? Or you can ask how. It's no big deal. Just stop holding yourself back and self-sabotaging yourself by saying no or you're not sure or maybe later, right? Or it's not the right time. Just say yes to the right things. <laughs> the fourth thing is uh, have quality questions. Have quality questions. So rather than thinking if something really bad happens to you and dwelling on the problem, you know, dwell on the solution. Think 80% of your time on the solution instead, and 20% of time on the problem rather than 80% of the time on the problem and 20% on the solution. So flip your, flip your thinking to the solution instead of the problem. And uh, if you're thinking about, well, this is a crappy situation or whatever happened or I can't believe this happened to me, instead ask yourself the question of what could be good about this? What could be good about this? It's just something to think about. I haven't, I don't have a good example for you from my own life with that yet, but um, but I'm working on it. And uh, so another little insight from one of the conferences I was at, and I that one, I this particular conference, I took lots of notes because I was working on myself. Okay, so I don't always go just to speak. I was a speaker there, but I was also a, a learner. I was learning and participating, and uh, that's I think when you get the most out of it. So. By the way, my event is coming up in just a week or two, so if you are interested in attending, you, you don't have much longer to buy your ticket. So you can go to livebigevents.com forward slash SO, and I'll still give you that deal where it's like $500 off the ticket. So it makes it $397 uh, to come for three days of really working on your business. Again, it's livebigevents.com forward slash SO. S is in Sam, O is an Oscar like special offer. So go there, sign up, and let's let's get my, let me get my hands on your business, and I'll talk to you soon.